What is a burn up chart? When you are measuring progress in an agile approach project, you would also want to know how many story points we have completed. Sometimes the team understands a little bit better about their work when they look at it in this fashion. Similar to a burn down chart, you would create story points on the y axis, sprints or iterations on the x axis, and let us say that in this example, we have to complete 120 story points at the end of 7th sprint. Now, because it's a burn up chart, we are tracking how many story points have we completed. As a plan, we would start with zero and we'll try to complete 120 story points by the end of 7th sprint. So your chart would look something like this. This will be your plan. Now, the team would complete their work sprint by sprint, iteration by iteration. They'll come to this chart and update their work one by one, whatever they have completed. And ultimately you will see a chart something like this, which would give your actual performance as well. Whenever you look at any point, you would come to know that yes, at the end of this particular sprint, we have completed these many story points. So what we have completed, we can come to know through burn up chart. Similar to a burn down chart, whenever you see a gap between your plan and actual, you would know whether you are doing a better job or not. Whenever your points are higher, which means you have accomplished more. Whenever your points are lower than the planned line, which means you have accomplished less. Here you are ahead of schedule, here you are behind schedule. So burn up and burn down chart both helps us in understanding our performance through a particular release or through a particular iteration. Additional what we see in burn up chart is a scope variation chart as well. Sometimes towards a release, we may see some variation in user stories, some addition of user stories, some deletion of user stories. So my scope, the total 120 story points that I'm supposed to complete might go down or up depending on the scope changes. So burn up chart helps us reflect that as well, which we don't see in burn down chart. I hope this definition has helped you understand the burn up chart. We have discussed burn down chart earlier. We will discuss information radiator and many other things in following videos. Thank you so much.